City center of Kherson, more than 50 cars were burning. On December 24th, Christmas Eve, Russia attacked the city with Grad multiple launch rocket systems. As a result, 11 people were killed, 64 were wounded, 18 of them are in critical condition. It was very loud in our house. Then I got a call that it turns out Silpo was hit. And then they showed me these videos. It's horrible. How is it possible? It is real terrorism. It's scary. I wish, of course, that we have weapons so that we can somehow fight this. It's not normal in the center of the city. So many killed and wounded. This is almost the most crowded area of the city, and it is also one of the few working stores after the deoccupation. If we are afraid, then we will sit hungry because the orcs are constantly firing. They are idiots, I tell you. How often are such arrivals in the city? Of course, daily, we don't know where it will hit. On the 12th, two missiles flew into our store near the Petrovsky Polyclinic, so I witnessed it too, we barely survived. The shelling of the city has not stopped for more than a month. Explosions are heard here literally every half an hour. Not a day passes without a number of killed and wounded. December 24th was a truly morning day. It was the most massive attack by Russian troops since the beginning of a full-scale war. My children were at the market at that moment. They came under fire and they came to help get out the wounded. They managed to hide in a split second and then they were taking out the wounded, helping and taking the killed out. Five people were killed that day at the central market. Valeria miraculously survived. She sells animal feed. At the time of the shooting she was shopping. She says she won't leave the city. I took the children away there in Zaporizhia in a rented apartment. Well, I have to provide a living for them, right? I must. So far I have no nurse. We'll see how long they last. Now the gas pipeline caught fire here. Five fighters were called and that's it. It's scary, it's scary, it's dangerous and there is no way out. No one can predict where a Russian shell will hit next. The occupiers are attacking from the left bank of the Dnipro river with all available types of weapons. The front line runs right along the river and the short distance allows the Russians to strike with mortars and tanks. Snipers fire on the coast. It's a pity about the people. There are few people left here and they are doing this. I don't know what to call it and how to deal with it. And how can you even take it? May God grant that there is a speedy release from this nightmare. From these people, can they be called people? To strike on civilians, mostly old people, pensioners are left and to do such things. Due to constant shelling, 200 people are evacuated from Kherson every day. Local authorities are urging people to leave the city as quickly as possible, at least temporarily. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Daria Utovchenko, UATV News.